Welcome back, Vert Squad. In today's video, we'll be going over the story of a guy named The Process. Joel Embiid and his story with the 76ers. Let's get it. Joel Embiid played for the Kansas Jayhawks in the 2013-2014 season. He's regarded as one of the best centers in the game. And it's crazy because he's only been playing basketball since he was 16 years old. He won numerous awards that season, such as the Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. But ultimately, he suffered a stress fracture in his back, which allowed him to miss the Big 12 tournament and the NCAA tournament. He was later drafted in the 2014 NBA draft, but he had to undergo a navicular bone surgery that sidelined him for six months. What ended up happening was he tried to come back from an injury and then he ended up re-injuring that same right foot, the same navicular bone. So basically Embiid had a whole two years to work on his game and work on his body before he even played an NBA game. After years of re-injuring the same injury, you can see that he's finally making progress with that right foot. Bearing all the weight on that right foot while he performs these ankle bounces, you can see he's making well, progress. We hit the jackpot this time. The 76ers strength and conditioning staff did a great job developing Joel Embiid's strength as well as the other 76er players. Around the same time, Ben Simmons was drafted and later on in his video, we'll see how they did the same type of thing for him. They helped him build his strength and basically those years of sitting out for both of these players are years that they use for developing physically and it's remarkable what the 76ers did in such a short period of time. You can see in those two seasons sitting out, Joel Embiid has made tremendous strides in his development as far as his upper body, just even the aesthetics, um, the strength, the mobility. He worked a lot of core, just overall his physique looks phenomenal he looks physically imposing and you will see how dominant he is of a player with all this added mass to his frame well boys we hit the jackpot this time As you can see, Embiid is physically dominant over all the other athletes in the NBA. For a seven footer, he can move pretty well. He's uh, active on the court. He can shoot well, face up. There's nothing that he can't do on the court. This just goes to show if you were allowed two years to develop before playing your first game, making an NBA debut won't be that tough, of course. So development is key, and I'm glad you guys got to watch this video so you can see how you can develop for yourselves. So if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, of course, and definitely leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns. But stay tuned for more videos. Vert Squad.